Uh, go ahead, Ryan. Go ahead. Go ask first question for Mark. Mark, first time she kind of bugged you guys this year. That was not the first time. What, came. what did you say? Can you say it one more time? Uh, just uh, you guys did not have a slow start tonight, you know, versus some of those games previous in the season. What changed tonight? Yeah, you know, that was the emphasis, you know, from Coach Weber with the game plan. You know, obviously, both times in the beginning of the half, they came out and hit us in the mouth. And uh, Lampkin and Miller really grabbed a lot of rebounds uh, when they when we played them at K-State. So, uh, you know, they started off, you know, grabbing some boards, but we really kind of took them out and they weren't making their uh, shots around the basket. So uh, we really came out, you know, with good energy and passion. That's what Coach has been saying lately. Have great energy, have great passion. And I think we did that at the start of the first half and we, you know, we showed our passion in the second half. They had a little run. We came back and, you know, stopped it. I think we went up 12 or something like that. And then we just kept the lead and, you know, it was a, it was a great feeling. You know, that was just really the emphasis. You know, they're a tough team rebound and play it play with passion and we thought we could beat them tonight so it was a great win how was your team able to rebound and, and win two games in a row following that loss to Ole Miss uh you know even that loss to Ole Miss uh the message was really don't quit and obviously we're our team you know we already said to coach Weber we're not going to quit for coach Weber we're always going to fight for coach Weber and I think we show our fight and our passion you know the last two games, you know, rebounding, getting stops towards the end of the game. And that's really what, you know, our team is about, you know, just real, a real blue collar team, you know, plays hard, has good energy and it's paying off for us. And all we're doing is just trying to rebound and and, have, and just play together. Well, I think everyone knows their role now where, you know, if we feel real connected and it's just fun to be out there and play. Thank you, Mark. Uh, go ahead, Cole. Yeah, hey, Mark. I was just curious if you could talk about your teammate Carlton Lingard for a little bit. Carlton, you know, I've been talking to Carlton every day. You know, Carlton is – hes I mean, he's going to be tremendous for us, and he's going to be a great K-State basketball player. He moves well. We've been saying – Coach has been saying that we could really use Carlton. And uh, the way he moves, the way he moves his feet, he's strong. He can alter shots, as you saw tonight when they were winning there. He jumps up, block shots, can grab rebounds. He's 7-1, maybe taller, and he's athletic. Jumps hot <laughs> – jumps high everything he really moves like a guard so it's just easy to play with Carlton out there and you know we've just been telling him to focus on you know learning the plays and stuff like that and just play confidently because Carlton can can really play basketball and he's going to be really good so it was just great to see him do well grab that offensive rebound and put it in block some shots and he guarded really well too so and then you've been on some pretty good teams going back on your days at Illinois and then Missouri uh, what's the ceiling for you guys uh, this team is this team's great. You know, I feel like I played here all four years. Uh, this is how connected we are, how we have each other's back, and it's just real fun to you know play coach coach Weber's system. You know, we all can drive to the basket, we can get downhill, we got shot makers, so it's fun to play with with this team. It really is, and you know how we guard is just it's great. I think it's a great recipe for success. You know, hopefully we can just get the next one. You know, just one at a time. That's all we can focus on. And then last question for me, obviously, you guys have Baylor next. Um, what's the motivation level to prove that? Uh, obviously, you know, Coach Weber stated to us, you know, they came in, you know, really beat the brakes off us last time. So uh, we just got to come back in and, you know, we have to have some fight and passion. And, you know, I think we've, we're a lot better team now. And hopefully we can come in and, you know, defend our home court again. You know, it should be a great game. Thanks, Mark. Uh, next question to Michael. Mark, can you just describe your offensive rebound off of Mike's uh, trying to beat the buzzer, beat it, trying to beat the shot clock buzzer, and how you got in there for that and scored? Uh, I just knew I was actually going to grab that rebound because I could just tell how it was uh, coming off me, and I kind of just held him off. When I grabbed it, I kind of just ball faked out, and he was all the way in front of me. I just turned around, and he tried to foul me and laid it in. It's really a, a crash of glass and just just try to play hard. I told Coach I'm going to try to lead the team in rebounds and play hard and to play hard every game. And that's just what I try to do each and every night out. So is that just you feeling him on your backside that you could lay it in instead of kicking it out? Yeah, it was just he was on my back. I knew I could lay that up. Missed a couple of layups. Coach wasn't too happy with me about the one in transition. 
wanted me to shoot it normal, but uh, he, I think he's confident in me when I get to the basket, making layups and stuff like that. How would you describe your senior teammate, Mike McGurl, and the baskets he made tonight? <laughs> it was great to see Mike do that. I mean, I was I was so proud of Mike. You know, Mike's such a great guy, and uh, I just love seeing him succeed. You know, uh, he has so much, you know, passion for this basketball team. He has so much. He puts so much into our team. He's a great leader, and just to see every time he he scored, you know, it's great. And I feel like Mike is just really, Mike's really bought in. I really feel that you know, his energy, his passion. He's show, he's showing it in practice, and. Uh, it's just great to play with that guy, you know, and see him make those shots. We all know he's capable of those, those to help our team like that. And uh, we expect that from Mike. I think everyone does. And uh, he did a great job tonight making big shots when he needed them. And also just how he guards, you know, Mike's a, a great defender. Obviously, he's took on that role, you know, so has gone. And uh, he's done a great job. And has it become easy to, easy to, to be able to depend on Nigel Pack? What did you say? Sorry. Has it become easy to depend on Nigel Pack night in, night out? I mean, I don't I don't think a lot of people can guard Nigel. He just is a, he's just a shot maker, you know. And you know, when we're helping, when we're scoring, Keith's getting going, Mike getting going, when we're getting to the basket in the lane, people can't really just focus on Nigel. So he was getting wide open shots and they were losing him. He's a great, you know, great off the ball and Really great shooter, obviously. We know that, so he doesn't miss too often. So I think it's a lot of teams struggle guarding Nigel. You know, if you miss one, I think they're they're happy if he does. Thank you, Mark. No problem. I think that's all the questions we have from, from Mark. We're going to switch him out with uh, Nigel. So thanks, Mike, or Mark.